he was the oldest, um, and his all his siblings. While well, you seen Ted, he was, you know, African American, uh -huh. but on uh, on my dad's birth certificate, it had, I think, your ethnicity listed as African American. Yeah. I don't even know what they're Really? I'm just here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard time. I think we're all mixed with something along the line. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, and, I mean, my dad, he's, you know, pretty white. So <laughs> I'd ask my mom, I was like, well, how could he be mixed? And I guess to this day he still thinks that he's biracial. Uh-huh. And from what I hear from my mom, she she told me that years ago, my dad had told my mom that he thinks if me or my brother ever found out he was biracial that we would hate him. And that's not true because we're not, do I don't know. Do? Right. We're not racist at all. I I had dated, you know, black guys in the past and everything. Well, right, know. right. And, you know, he's, I had dated a couple of black guys and, you know, he would tell me, well, as long as you're happy, you know, he didn't care. He didn't care, as, you know old, young, male, female, as long as I'm happy, that's all that mattered. But, yeah, it just always kind of, I remember that part on the birth certificate, and it just, like, kind of stuck with me, and I was just, you know, wondering exactly, you know, just trying to figure out what, where I came from, I guess. You know, it don't matter to me. If I can help you, lay it on me. <laughs> uh, gosh, I don't even know. So you don't know your... Did you know your parents? Uh, uh, oh boy, here we go. My father was the Woodside Senior who lived at the uh, Deluxe Apartments on Grand and Salem. Uh -huh. Grandparents, those that are living, live on Weller Street. I got this guy all over Dayton. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Since we've gotten older, some of them dropped out. And right. Hmm. Yeah, you listen to that. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> what, uh, do you remember your mom's maiden name? Oh, boy, now you... <laughs> I know, I'm taking you back. <laughs> no. Hey, Gillen, I never heard of it. Or her first name? Lula. Lula? Somebody got to look into it. Wasn't uh, Dora Lee, was it? Who? Dora Lee. It could have been. Yeah. I was trying to think of the names that I was well, doing yeah. my research on. and Yeah. Well, here I am. Lay it on me. <laughs> Gosh, I don't even know what to... If I can answer, I'll be more than... Do, it. do you remember? Well, how, how many uh, kids do you have? I guess. Just got one? Is it a. Yeah, and we were like this. Really? Yeah. Did. Mm -hmm. Is it a, a man? Woman? Woman. What was her name? Linda. Linda? Huh. She just goes by Linda Todd, or le well, unless she's married. Yeah. Hmm. She may be married now. I don't know. Yeah. And your middle name's Chester. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. That's, I guess it's possible. I mean, it's you. Possible. Yeah. I just. I mean, I didn't want to cause no problems in the family. My. I mean, if my dad knew I was here, he would. He would never learn from me. Believe me. Yeah, I'm never going to say anything. I just, me and my brother, we've wanted to know for 20 years. And I told him I was going out today, and he was like, well, good luck. And I, when I struck out in Inglewood, and they said they had never heard of you, I said, well, I'm going to try this, because I had seen the 215 McDaniel Street years ago, back in uh, 2011. That's when I started doing the Ancestry. That's over Germantown, isn't it? Uh, well, whatever, yeah, this this building, the oh, yeah, yeah, the built the address to the building, and uh, yeah, and I almost when I came in the door, 
I didn't know. I thought you would have names on the doors, but and somebody said they hadn't heard of you, and then I started going through the directory, and it just said DeWitt, so I figured I'd try it, but... Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah. Maybe I can help you with it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I, I got 